in Joplin and the detectives from Joplin do come and assist, uh, provide technical assistance to Bolivar PD um, as they request it. Sometimes we have cases that cross jurisdictions because as the chief said, um, our children are now with all this technology and by the way, the kindergartners have iPhones and uh, we do have predators capitalizing on some very young children as well. Additionally, we really need to worry, um, to be concerned, let's say, because not only are adults victimizing our children and inviting them to have very sexualized chat, um, to make very sexual videos, and to send pictures, and to meet in real life, but also we have students victimizing one another. And um, I, I, a student here brought that to my attention, uh, not this year, but last year, and we have some older students who are capitalizing on um, the grade school students because they don't have any life experience. And what could be more exciting than a boy who almost has his driver's license, right? Asking you um, pictures for, uh, for pictures and asking you to go out on a date if only you'll send a picture of yourself naked. Excuse me. My goodness. So um, I will work, uh, Chief Webb and I have already been working together to get some training for Bolivar PD, but. I would really love to work with all of you as grandparents and parents and teachers. I've done a little bit of work in social services, um, law enforcement, school resource officers, things of that nature. If we can get everyone on the same page, it's going to be so much easier to protect our kids. I would imagine those of you that have kids, um, I'm going to leave a couple resources on the table on your way out. I would imagine you will not be able to identify half the apps on one piece of paper um, that your kids are using every day. Because kids are smart and they learn to hide their behavior from us. And they also think that they're never going to get caught because we don't even, if you think that like a party, we don't even know where it's at. As a, a majority of adults have no idea wow. how to use um, Twitter or know what WhatsApp is or Kick. And those are very, very popular um, from grade school on up. Snapchat is an issue. There are a lot of apps out there that will prom uh, promise kids that if they send a picture that they may regret sending later, it's okay, it'll disappear. Actually, that particular app, particular app developer, uh, the people who made Snapchat were just hauled into court and had their pants summarily sued off because they misrepresented their product. If you take a picture in Snapchat, it does not actually disappear. And when we have kids down at grade school level, um, finding apps like Snapchat and Whisper and Secret, which um, promise kids they can hide their behavior, they don't look into the fine details. Uh, we also have a lot of kids um, who are using apps that are designed for adults. They'll, they'll go and sign up, say they're 18 years old, and they'll see things that aren't really even appropriate for most of us at 18. So um, I'd be happy to work with you in the community, any group of 20 people or more. I'm grant funded, so I'm free. Um, if you have questions, uh, it seems that Chief Webb knows how to get a hold of me and also Mr. Hafer. Pretty much anyone in social services probably knows how to get a hold of me. Um, and I would be more than happy to work with schools as well in, in any of the surrounding areas. Uh, I think I did speak to junior high students, um, not this year, but in years past, the boys were a little shocked to find out how much information you're sharing just when you're playing around sharing photos and how offenders approach. I can tell you, tied in with all these issues, uh, we make 300 and, we made 368 arrests last year as a statewide task force. And that doesn't count Homeland Security, ATF, DEA, ICE, and all the local <coughs> jurisdictions that are working on this problem that don't report stats to us. 368 people here in Missouri. Um, I would say half of those are people who are actually creating, distributing, and in possession of child pornography. That's child sexual abuse. This is not a victimless crime because someone has to be abusing the child before it's filmed or photographed and shared with other people. Okay, so child sexual abuse. Offenders often use drugs to lure the kids in. Um, the crimes like uh, sextortion, where a kid makes a mistake and, and puts out a photo, and then the offender or a peer holds it over their head and says, if you don't meet me under the bleachers on Friday night, I'm going to post this picture to Google. I can't tell you how underreported that is because our tweens and our teenagers, rather than get caught, will just go ahead and do anything that that person wants, just so it goes away. It doesn't ever go away, which is gonna impact our mental health uh, resources, and certainly it's gonna impact our school environment. We have cyberbullying, we have sexual cyberbullying, which is when those photos are sent through school. Um, and that certainly ups our, 
our crisis level for suicides and for mental health issues. We have kids who are using technology in dysfunctional dating situations to control one another. And uh, Danielle, I would love to teach a healthy relationships class if we put one together and take it to the schools if we'll let us in. And I'd, I'd be more than happy to. So technology affects all these different aspects and, and all these problems are tied together. And I don't think one is more important than any other. We have to address them all in kind because if we don't, we are not going to resolve any of these issues. So, and I'm, I'm delighted to see, I did a, a sort of a head count here, 60 people in this room. I have to say when we talk to parents about technology, generally the turnout is about six people. Okay? Because parents don't understand the risk involved in handing an iPhone or a tablet, um, a laptop, or even a gaming system to your child. Gaming systems are kind of also the playground of, of offenders because they know where the kids are is where they want to be. So um, I'm going to leave some resources for you. You can get started. You can start educating yourself, which is critical. I urge you to have conversations with your children because that's also critical. I also urge you to open up their devices and be the social media snoop. Go ahead. And if you need help, let me know.